Hey there fellow gamers, Kevin J Gaming here giving you some more Skies of Arcadia Legends. In the last part, we made our way to, well we were already in Maramba and we took on Rupee of the Larso Clan, defeated him, and we can go actually before we leave, we can go quickly collect our bounty. I don't even think it's that much to be honest, it's only like 2,000. Um, he he scales with, with your team so you could take him on at any point when you see him. Yeah, only 2,000 gold, which isn't anything in reality. But hey, you know what? Whatever. It's fine. We're just going to head towards Ixataka now. Take on the Ixinus demons once we get there. Um, I've shown them off a couple of times throughout my flights through the through the sky. So let us head up. And what direction do we want to sail? It's somewhat south. or It's just like straight west, actually. Yeah, if we just head straight west, we'll kind of get there. Maybe, like, slightly southwest. Let's go. Ah, sailing through the sky. Very exciting. There's the silver moon. It's interesting that uh, Pirate's Isle, where the game starts, is under the silver moon. You know, it's just kind of interesting. Oh, we're just going to keep sailing. Sailing, sailing, sailing. Is there anything around us? No? Nothing below us? Definitely nothing above us except the moon. Just gonna keep sailing. It does save you a lot of time flying over all these clouds, though. I must say, I must say, it's quite nice to be able to just be like, Ooh, we're flying over the clouds. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Once we pass through the sky rift, I believe, or like over the sky rift, we're going to. If I look below me. Yeah, we're next to talk already. There's Horteka. Right? No, we're just in the right area. Uh, we're kind of more near South Ocean right now, actually. So we're going to keep heading up. And where were the Ixinus demons? I'm really close, actually. There they are. Right by the Ixinus, uh, village. There's going to be a ship flying around. Very odd-looking ship, actually. And it looks like the ship of one of the pirates in the Sailor's Guild wanted list. I've already healed up, and in fact, I gave Vice the Piranta Seed. Oh, kind of cute, actually. What is this thing? I've never seen a ship like this before. I wonder if there are men aboard this ship. Shall we attack this ship as usual? I'm sure someone will come out then. <gasps> no, Enrique. What's all the noise? Hey, who are you? Hey! Hey! Wow! No. Oh my! He's actually kind of cute. We haven't caught one this cute in a while. Maybe today's our lucky day. But what's with that eye patch thing? He's got no fashion sense. What are you talking about? I think it gives him some flair. Wow, Terry, you really have bad taste. Fine, then I'll just keep him all to myself. Hey, that's not fair. He has it done. Who are these girls? I I know they've gotta be they gotta be those girls that I read about in the Sailors Guild. You know the Ixinus demons. But who'd have thought the Ixinus demons would be three little girls? Kind of anticlimactic if you ask me. Hey, who are those two ugly girls? They're st they're starting to get on my nerves. They're probably just jealous because we're so much younger and prettier. That's why I hate old hags like them. I love I love Aka's like the cat eyes or whatever. These three are really getting on my nerves. Why do, why would we be jealous of you little twerps in the first place? And Fina, don't just stand there, say something. They're insulting us. Aka What's an old hag? <sighs> Go figure. Well then everyone, I hope you're ready. Of course. I'm always ready. Well, Mr. Handsome, you best prepare yourself, because if we beat you, you'll have to marry one of us. Oh boy, fate worse than death, marrying one of these things. Welcome to the harem trope, everybody. The Ixinus Demons. These girls are tough. I'm not gonna lie. Some some Skies of Arcadia fans will even say that she is one of the, well, they are, one of the hardest fights in the game. So I'm gonna do something big. I'm gonna drop the Aura of Valor on the first turn. Yes, we're actually going to use it. I know that I've been holding off on it, but...
but actually, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. We get another one from doing this. So, I'm not super concerned with it. I'm going to go for Lyra, I guess. The best strategy is to take out one of them. But the reason why I'm using the Aura of Valor is so that we can have max spirit at the end of this. And one of the moves that they have that hits everybody can cause fatigue. So we got to get the spirit out of the way now. Um, just in case they make us not regain spirit, which is not good. In fact, I shouldn't have gone for the Royal Blade now that I think about it. But we just did 1,000 damage to Lyra. Jeez. She goes for Quickish. They could still go for their combo attack. Which really hurts, but we'll see what happens. Let's Another Glyph of Might here. Assuming they don't go for Chack Mole, which is their name of their combo attack, which really friggin' sucks when they go for it. Um, it should be okay. And luckily, they were missed. They were has a chance of Perfusion. We're gonna go for the Prophecy. This is just fun to watch whenever you use this. You're only going to get to see it a few times throughout the LP because it's hard to just focus for a lot of turns and not save up for it. So having an Aura of Valor definitely makes up for it. And we're just going to crash the friggin' moon into the world. And it's just going to destroy them. Get out. Man, we just wrecked house everyone just attack I don't even care anymore they're done man we got the counter attack that didn't even finish her off but and she fell asleep or he fell asleep that's fine that's perfectly fine just ow get the counter attack again doesn't oh wow it did damage at least and she's confused uh man that was close Eh, you're gonna hit Vice. If anything, that helps, because it wakes him up. And there goes Terra. I'm gonna switch everyone's weapons over to red, just so we can gain a lot of red magic. Oh yeah, Fina's confused, so I couldn't switch Fina. You're really gonna use Drill Nose? You're really gonna use Drill Nose? Okay. If that's what you wanna do. That's fine. We're already all attacking, so... And that's not taking her out yet. And that took her out. So we beat the Ix and his demons very quickly. We took the easy way out, but we did it. They're actually one of the hardest fights in the game. I have a fail take of me fighting them. They're really tough. They're honestly really, really tough. We got two level ups for Aka and Fina as well. And we got tons of red magic. And we get a Rise of them Crystal, another Aura of Valor, and something called a Tropica. I'm not sure what the Tropica does, but we're going to look at it right after. But we beat him. Hey, how could this be? We're the Ixinus' most powerful warriors. I can't believe we lost. Now that that settles, you guys have to promise not to cause any more trouble. Hmm. 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 Defeat is defeat. You won fair and square, so we promise that we'll behave. But finding a good, strong man to marry is one of the traditions of the Ixinus warriors. One day we'll all hope to find a man like you. Uh -huh. Like me? Well, uh, best of luck to you. Next time you come through this area, you best be careful. We just might come after you again. As for you, old hags, you best be careful too. If you don't keep an eye on your man, we just might snatch him away from you both. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. Hey! Uh, hey! Just get out of here already, will you? I'm getting tired of hearing you jabbering. Farewell, Mr. Handsome. Don't be afraid to come back and play. Wink is creepy. Huh. <sighs> All right. So we defeated the Ix and his demons. Hooray. So now while we're here in Ixataka, in the region, we're actually going to fly over to Rixus because uh, I got a comment saying that I might have missed some chams that were there. And I figure I'm going to be in the area. I might as well check on them. And if they're not there, I'll just fade right through it, and we'll act like I never even went there. But we'll, let's go looking for it real quick. 
I just gotta remember where Rixus is. Where Rixus is, 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 is. I'm just gonna fly through the sky here. Looking down on it. There it is. Rixus. Alright. Now, if you remember this area, we were here before. I even missed, like, some treasure chests and stuff that were here. So that's what we're gonna be looking for once this platform comes back to us. We're gonna have to quickly, like, get on to all these things and go looking around, because I remember there was a champ in here, and I just don't honestly remember if I got it. And we're gonna check. I know it was over here, too, so... I remember it being somewhat around here. Yeah, okay, I'm feeling the vibrations. And it's right here. We found the champ that we've been missing, I guess. I don't know how I would have missed it. This was really easy to find. So I'm gonna quickly go over to it, wherever it is, champ. Give it, it's not ready. He's one thing away. But what we're gonna do, one thing I really wanna quickly show you guys, that Tropica that we got, it's basically a uh, vital seed, except it's really good. It will increase one ally's max HP by a whopping 200. And there's only one person I plan to give it to. Vice, because I give Vice everything. So now Vice has a whopping 4,000 HP. And it's good to make Vice just an honest-to-god tank. So, he'll hit really hard. And anyway, I'm going to cut to when we're back outside of this area, and then we'll probably end the episode, because I know where we're going. I know where we're going for the following episode. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Oh, wow. And we did actually miss this one out here, because I didn't check this little area. So there's the other chain that we were missing here in Rixus. There's actually two here, and I completely missed both of them. So, thank you so much to, I believe it was... I'm gonna... I'll post the picture of the comment right on the video here, but I believe it was the Ferocious Linoon? I believe. Could be wrong on that. I know there's a few people... You know what? I'm gonna even look at it right now. I'm gonna look at it right now. Yep, it was the Ferocious Linoon. So thank you so much for pointing that out to me that I forgot those. I wouldn't have been surprised if I did, but, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised I missed them. Thank you. I'm, well, I'm surprised I missed both of them. The one in Rixus, I'm not too surprised. But that one, yeah, that was really obvious. So thank you for helping me out. I'll see you guys. Oh, wait, wait a minute. What am I saying? I'm saying goodbye, but I don't mean to say goodbye. I'm going to, um... I'm going to head to the location uh, of the next thing we're going to be doing. I also like being over top of the silver, of the green place like this. Because you can actually go on top of these hills. But anyway... We're going to head east, about northeast-ish, a little bit north-northeast, east-east-northeast, kind of like that direction. And we're going to head over to Maramba, so I'll see you guys in a moment. I'm also going to fly along here just because I wouldn't be surprised if there was like a discovery on here. No, but there's... That was an S. What, what did I just grab? I'm going to look at this. It's called a stealth ray, apparently. It's worth a lot of money. Well, we'll sell that in a sec. Anyway, heading off to Maramba. Or not Maramba, uh, Nazrad. Well, we found something while I was just flying around Ixataka. I got bored and decided to start searching around. Found something called the Alupas, very high above the clouds. It's an ancient species that predates the Ixatakan civilization. The Alupas live quietly in the forest. Their calm, proud demeanor has earned them the name Sages of the Forest. They're also known for choosing their mates for life. Interesting. Very interesting. If you want to look at the map. Oh, that's not the map. It was right here. Pretty much in the middle, but I'm way above the clouds. It's in this sort of... You can kind of tell if I just back up here. and You can see it's on like this island thing. It wasn't too hard to find, actually. To be completely honest. But the reason why I came into the sky around Ixataka... I know I said I was going to go to Nazrad, but... Something really made me want to find something out here, so I'm going to go looking for it. Uh, there's actually an optional uh, an optional air battle that you can do out here, and I really want to do it, so I'm gonna actually go looking for it. Also, by the way, you can see the top of Rixus out here as well, which is really cool. But anyway, I'm gonna keep flying around until I find this, because I really want to find it. Oh, there it is. Interesting. What is this thing? If you remember, there was a discovery that we found a long time ago. It was called the Rock's Nest. And this is that bird. This is rock. Well, what is that thing? I've never seen a bird this big before. 
I don't know, but it looks like he's it looks like he's hungry. I should say this is rock. Let me point out right now, he's not hard at all. We're gonna shoot torpedo on the first turn. Give an ancient cannon on that turn. We're just gonna focus up, focus up. I'm not too worried about him. He's actually a pretty easy boss, but I will say, never actually fought him before. Never actually fought the rock before. Can you smell <laughs> what the rock is cooking? Bonks, bonks, bonks. What did he do? It didn't do anything. Our ship didn't even move when he did the attack. Jeez. The reason why I'm doing it though is just because I've never done it before and I just wanted to look at, look up like what this was like. So, yeah, here we go. He's gonna keep hitting us with his blast voice. It's not even hurting us. This thing sucks. This is useless. What is he doing? He's gonna keep hitting us with that. Hooray. <clears throat> just gonna have to, I want to hit him, it's just nothing's happening. Just, there it is. Bam, we hit him pretty hard for 14,000 damage. He doesn't have a lot of health, as you can tell by how much damage we just did there. He keeps going for this blast voice, and it doesn't... I'm not even worried. I'm not even worried about what he's doing. I'm not... That scream is too powerful. It's going to tear the ship apart. It's still coming after us. You must really, really be hungry or something. I don't know. I'm going to guard on this turn because he might do something different. Who knows? But we're also going to lay the smack down for the next turn. Arc whale. Arc whale. And then we're even. We're just gonna focus up on this first turn. We'll have enough for the Moonstone Cannon on the following turn. And that should take him out. I mean, it's only three turns. It's gonna be a shorter ship battle, hopefully. The more I play through this game, the more I realize that the ship battles are actually really scarce. So I don't mind doing these little extra ones in here, just because I really do like the combat. Oh, gee. Oh, my. He's just destroying us. Uh, did less damage. Yeah, we, we guarded, but still. Interesting. So. We're going to keep trying to lay into him. Keep shooting up torpedoes. does a lot, and that sucks. Another arc rail torpedo. Hopefully this takes him out. Blast voice doesn't hurt. Like, he just keeps going for it. Now what should we do is we want to say take that thing straight on. We're going to take a lot of damage, but when we pick this, we get to use the Moonstone Cannon. So we're just going to hit him with the Moonstone Cannon. We're going to guard, we're going to guard, we're going to guard, and hopefully this will take him out in one turn. I don't want to waste any more time. Let's go. Moonstone Cannon, Serpent Torpedo, Arc Rail Torpedo, it's all coming down at once. There it is! Lasering right into him. He is friggin' done. 30,000 damage. 33,000 damage. He goes falling back to Earth. We've beaten the rock. Who would have thought that that ever would have happened? I overcame the odds. We get something called a wooden doll. I'm not sure what it does, but we're gonna look at what it does right after. And now that I've done that, I'm going to head off to Nazrad, but I just want to see what this thing does. We gotta go over... Oopsie. Held B too long. We're going to come over to this. We're going to look at... If the air intake... What does the wind doll do? It's simple, cute, and adored by Fina. So it doesn't actually do anything. I don't know why I give it to us. Maybe I sell it. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to head back to Nazrad. So now I'll actually see you in a moment. I'm sorry. I, I said I was going to do that before, but then I ended up doing other things. 
Be there in just a moment. Oh, okay. So I came here to Nazrad. I came to the Sailor's Guild, and it turns out that the cat's coin that we got at the end of the cat's aisle, I never actually talked to him about it. He will pay us 20,000 gold for it. And because we defeated one of the bounties, which was the Exodus Demons, we got 8,000 for that. And we can sell the cat's coin here. So we get 20,000 gold for that. We can sell some discovery information really quick, which is just the Alupas. Hooray. And if we really quick go back to the wanted list, we've defeated these first five, and we have Vice the Fallen Pirate next. So we're going to look at that real quick. And the reason why we want to do that is because that will actually finally unlock it. Thank you to Dragon Rider 951 for telling me uh, all about, uh, or 951, whatever you want to pronounce the numbers, for telling me how to unlock this uh, this bounty fight because I screwed up in the last few recordings and I kept trying to fight these guys, but I couldn't. And reason being is you have to pretty much talk to the Sailor's Guild about it and then come back in and now, they're still not there? Or are they? Let me check. I'm going to check. It's supposed to be right here. But he's not. I. It, it says everything you ever read about this boss, it says you need to have the title... Vice the Fallen Pirate, which if you go into Vice, it says Vice the Fallen Pirate, the thing's there, the title's there. There's nothing to do around here. He's supposed to be right here. He's not up here, I know that. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to leave Nazrad completely and then land back in it again, and maybe that will be what it takes because this is bothering me that I still haven't fought this guy and I really want to. All right, so I've left Nazrad completely and he's still not there by the looks of it. Why is this boss so hard to find? Ah, uh, well, since he's still not here and there's no other bounties to fight, there is one more giant uh, optional air battle we could do and I guess I'll do that in the next episode instead. Maybe it'll increase my swashbuckler rating a little bit, enough that we can do it. But until then, next time on Skies of Arcadia Legends, we are going to uh, probably continue on with the story after we do that optional boss fight. So anyway, thank you all so much for tuning in. I will see you guys all next time.